this video this video lecture is created by jagrat creation it is on joint venture account wherein i want to solve one sum wherein i am going to prepare memoranda joint venture account just observe the sum that i intend to solve here before you this is the sum that i intend to solve here before you i read the sum and try to explain to you ashwin of madras and gupta of delhi entered into joint venture on 14 2016 for the purpose of buying second hand cars reconditioning them and sell them as diesel air conditioned cars so second hand cars will be purchased they will be reconditioned and they will be sold as diesel air conditioned cars ashwin has agreed to buy the second hand cars and recondition them and fit the diesel engine so petrol cars will be purchased they will be reconditioned and converted into diesel cars and that's what what is going to be done by ashwin gupta has agreed to fix the air conditioners and sells them at delhi so gupta is going to perform at delhi and this ashwin is going to perform from madras they have agreed to share the profits and losses equally and settle their accounts at the end of each year following are the details of purchase and sales and expenses incurred by ashwin and gupta so these are the expenses these are the contributions of ashwin and these are the contributions of gupta for the joint venture business 10 cars are purchased for 5 lakhs reconditioning expenditure cost of 10 diesel engines labor charges 8 air conditioners purchased by gupta remember it buying commission by selling commission sales value of sales value realized for sale of 8 cars expenses incurred local 10000 delhi expenses see this 30000 are the delhi expenses paid by ashwin that's an important point to be noticed by the student office expenses garage expenses insurance paid by both of them missions expenses gupta sent a check of rupees 6 lakhs to ashwin on 1st 3 2017 all the balance to cars one car was made with an accident on the way to garage before reconditioning and the insurance company settled the claim for rupees 30000 as a total loss now see 10 cars are purchased one is lost in accident before reconditioning so nine cars are reconditioned that's an important point to be understood and the insurance claim received for the car that was purchased and lost that insurance claim works out to be 30000 the old petrol engine was sold for rupees 500 per engine now how many cars were purchased 10 one car is lost one old car is lost so how many cars are left with you nine and petrol engines are sold how many such engines are sold nine engines are sold because one is already lost so petrol engine were sold at rupees 5 per engine one diesel engine was sold one diesel engine was sold at rupees 3000 by ashwin now how many cars were purchased 10 how many were intended to be reconditioned 10 one is lost how many engines 10 diesel engines are purchased for 30000 but you are required to recondition only 9 so one diesel engine purchased by you is not useful and that has been sold at a price of 3000 by ashwin that's an important understanding remember 10 cars are purchased one is lost in accident now you are recondition only 9 and you have purchased 10 diesel engines so one diesel engine is extra that is sold for rupees 3000 all of them were so uh, 3000 by ashwin all of them were sold before on 31 3 2000 ashwin retained the balance one car 
एज अ नॉन एयर कंडीशन डीजल कार फॉर इज पर्सनल यूज पर्सनल लिस्ट बीच वॉज प्राइस एट एन एवरेज कॉस्ट दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नाउ सी टेन कार्स आर परचेज वन इज लॉस्ट नाइन आर रिकंडीशन एट आर सोल्ड एट एयर कंडीशन कार्स आर सोल्ड वन कार इज नॉट सोल्ड वन कार इज नॉट एयर कंडीशन सी अश्विन रिटेन बैलेंस वन कार एज अ नॉन एयर कंडीशन डीजल कार सो वन कार रिटेन बाय अश्विन इज अ डीजल कार बट नॉट एयर कंडीशन एंड दैट्स वाई एट एयर कंडीशन मशीन आर परचेज नॉट नाइन बिकॉज वन कार इज नॉट एयर कंडीशन बट इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू डीजल एंड दैट इज टेकन बाय हूम अश्विन 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 रिटेन बैलेंस वन कार एज नॉन एयर कंडीशन कार फॉर इज पर्सनल लिस्ट विच वॉज आई स्टेट एन एवरेज कॉस्ट नो वन कार सो टेन कार्स आर परचेज वन इज लॉस्ट एट आर सोल्ड वन इज रिटेन बाय अश्विन एट एन एवरेज कॉस्ट वॉट इज द एवरेज कॉस्ट दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन दिस सब सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन यू the one car taken by ashwin at an at an average cost i want to find out the average cost first of all because it is a very very important and crucial point of this sum so let me first of all prepare working note to find out the average cost just observe so i want to work out the average cost and for that i prepare a working note average cost of one car so these are the expenses for 10 expenses incurred by ashwin now out of all these expenses delhi expenses 30000 so expenses at a location delhi paid by ashwin at madras is not going to be considered for the purpose of finding out the average cost that is the first important point that student should notice understand once again freight expense at delhi paid at madras this is not going to be considered when i am going to find out the cost of one car retained by ashwin at madras ashwin at ashwin of madras because these expenses are incurred at delhi and that expenses are not for are not meant for one car retained by ashwin so this 30000 is not going to be considered now out of all these expenses which are the expenses for 10 cars and which are the expenses for 9 cars that is the classification that i am going to make so ashwin incurred total expenses for 10 cars so he has purchased 10 cars for 5 lakhs so 5 lakhs is the purchase price of 10 cars he has purchased 10 diesel engines so 30000 is the expense for 10 cars now Buying commission when he purchased, he paid a commission. He has to pay a commission for all ten cars, twenty-five thousand. When he purchases, he has to pay the freight. The freight is all paid for all ten cars. So these are the expenses incurred for ten cars. So what is the average cost of one car? So average cost of one car is five lakh sixty-five thousand divided by ten. So Fifty-six thousand five hundred is the average cost of one car. Now, out of all these expenses, which are the expenses incurred for nine cars? Out of ten, one is lost in transit. So, reconditioning has taken place for nine cars. So, this forty-five thousand is a reconditioning expenditure for nine cars. And out of that nine car, one car is left kept by Ashwin with himself. So, now I want to make a list. of expenses incurred for nine cars total expenses for nine car reconditioning is made for nine cars labor charges are paid for nine cars the rent and garage expenses are for nine cars because one is already lost insurance is also for nine cars and miscellaneous expenses are also incurred for nine cars so these are the expenses for nine cars remember i have ignored this 30000 expenses in this entire list that's an important point so these are the expenses for nine cars 
1 lakh 7000 are the expenses for 9 cars divided by 9 so you will get the average cost of one car so average cost of one car is 11889 so one cost taken by ashwin at an average cost its total value average cost of one car is 68389 this is the average cost at which ashwin has taken one car for his personal use so this is a very important calculation which i wanted to bring to your notice instead of doing that while solving the sum i have completed the average cost calculation of average cost of one car initially while explaining the sum for your better understanding now let me start with the sum memory in a joint venture account is to be prepared joint venture account with gupta in the books of ashwin joint venture account of Ashwin in the books of Gupta this is what I'm going to prepare for you now first of all I will start accounting in the books of Ashwin so this is the details of the sum that has already been explained books of Ashwin he prepares joint venture with Gupta when he prepares joint venture with Gupta account he is going to consider all these transactions the transaction of Gupta and joint venture, all these transaction of Gupta and joint venture are not going to be considered when Ashwin records his transaction with joint venture. So these are the transactions that I am not going to record. Why I am not going to record this transaction? Because Gupta receives for joint venture, it is a transaction between joint venture and Gupta, hence not recorded in the books of Ashwin. Same way, Gupta contributes for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Gupta, hence not recorded in the books of Ashwin. So all these transactions, this second row transaction, I am not going to record. So let me have a curtain on it. This I am not going to record. Now I start. Engine purchase for Filex. Payment is made. Joint venture with Gupta account debit to bank account. Reconditioning expenses paid 30,000. Joint venture X. Joint venture with Gupta account debit to bank account. Same way 30,000 debited. Cost of 10 diesel. Labor charges debited. Commission. Debited. Joint venture with Gupta account debit to bank account. Freight expense paid by me debited. So joint venture with Gupta. Debited. See, when I debit, I write in the inner column the narration. Joint venture with Gupta account debit. Main title is bank account. Notice it. 30,000 debited. Rent for office debited. Rent for garage debited. Insurance and missions expenses paid by Ashwin. All these expenses paid by Ashwin. Purchase price paid by Ashwin. The payment is made. For that check has been issued, bank account is to be credited and all these expenses are paid because of, because of my joint venture with Gupta. So joint venture with Gupta is the receiver, debit the receiver, so all these expenses are debited. Next. I got 6 lakhs rupees bank account debit to joint venture with Gupta account credit. Now. Of the balance, two cars, one car was met with an accident. I got a claim from insurance company, 30,000. Bank account debit to joint venture with Gupta account credit. One petrol engine. I'm sorry. The old petrol engine were sold for this 500 per engine. So 10 cars were purchased. 10 petrol cars were purchased. So I had 10 I should have 10 petrol engines available for sale but one car is already destroyed for which I have received an insurance claim for that car I don't have petrol engine ready for sale so out of 10 one petrol engine is not saleable so 9 petrol engine second hand petrol cars are purchased 9 petrol engines are available for sale so damaged left 9 
4500 प्रोसेस इज बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट टू जॉइंट वेंचर विद गुप्ता अकाउंट डेबिट नाउ 10 डीजल इंजिनस वर परचेस्ड 10 डीजल इंजिनस वर परचेस्ड बट आई वाज रिक्वायर्ड टू रीकंडीशन ओनली 9 सो वन डीजल डीजल इंजिन परचेस्ड वाज लेफ्ट आउट दैट हैज बीन सोल्ड फॉर रुपीस 3000 बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट टू जॉइंट वेंचर विद गुप्ता अकाउंट क्रेडिट ऑल ऑफ देम वेर सोल्ड बिफोर थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन अश्विन रिटेन द बैलेंस वन कार नाउ अश्विन हैज रिटेन वन कार इज टेकन बाय अश्विन एट एन एवरेज कॉस्ट एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी वर्क आउट द एवरेज कॉस्ट वाइल रीडिंग द सब सो दिस कार इज टेकन so motor car account debit to joint venture with gupta account credit 68389 i have already explained you this working note while explaining the sum now all these transactions are recorded by ashwin in his books of accounts with which he was concerned now he want to he wants to know his share in profit ashwin claims his share in profit from joint venture for that memorandum joint venture account is prepared Here I prepare memoranda joint venture account. Now all these expenses are the expenses for ten cars or nine cars, and they were recorded in this memoranda in this statement. So these are the expenses for ten cars paid by Ashwin. These are the expenses paid by Ashwin for nine cars. All are debited. Only one expense thirty thousand was not considered but paid by. Ashwin, that is also an expense for joint venture, so it is to be debited in memoranda joint venture account. It is to be recorded on the expense side of memoranda joint venture account. Memoranda joint venture account is a statement to find out the profit of joint venture business. It is not prepared on the basis of double entry bookkeeping debit corresponds credit or credit corresponds debit, but it is prepared on the basis of matching concept, and this matching concept is generally applied to find out. the profit in trading and profit and loss account on the basis of this those concepts this memoranda joint venture account is prepared now i want to record the expenses paid by gupta labor charges air conditioner purchased sales commission paid sales proceeds are recorded in the revenue side freight paid rent paid at rent paid not at madras at delhi insurance paid at delhi missiles expenses paid at delhi so these are the expenses paid by gupta they are recorded on the expense side in my memoranda joint venture account to find out the profit sales proceeds are recorded sales proceeds for eight cars are recorded now insurance claim received for one car that's an income now nine petrol engines are sold that is also revenue one diesel engine purchased not used sold one car taken by ashwin at an average cost of 68389 that is also recorded in the credit side income side now you can have a total of revenue minus total of expenses you will get the profit this profit will be distributed between partners equal share share of ashwin in profit is 21945 he will claim this profit for from joint venture with gupta account so joint venture with gupta account debit to profit and loss account credit now this account is to be settled so these are the payments contributions made by or claims of ashwin the total of claims minus receipts difference will be recovered by ashwin from joint venture with gupta so bank account debit to joint venture with gupta account credit 18056 this is the difference that is to be recovered by ashwin from joint venture with gupta on conclusion of the joint venture this is how transactions are recorded by ashwin memoranda joint venture account is prepared by ashwin his profit is claimed and the accounts are set now i want to consider all these transactions in the books of gupta let me start 
he prepared joint venture with Ashwin. All these are the transactions of Ashwin with joint venture. So Ashwin, this is from joint venture, not recorded by Gupta. Ashwin contributes for joint venture business, not recorded by Gupta. So all these transactions are not going to be recorded by Gupta. So I just removed that. So these are the payments and receipts of Gupta. Payment made 32,000. Joint venture with Ashwin account debit to bank account. 4 lakhs. Joint venture with Ashwin account debit to bank account. Air conditioners purchased. Sales commission paid 60,000. Joint venture with Ashwin account debit to bank account. This is a revenue amount is received 12 lakhs. The 12 lakhs rupees are received by Gupta from joint venture with Ashwin account. So he's a giver, credit the giver, so 12 lakhs will be credited here. These expenses are debited, joint venture with Gupta account debit to bank account. Office rent, garage rent, insurance expense and missions expenses all are paid by Gupta. So are they, they are debited to joint venture with Ashwin account debit to bank account, missions expenses. Now, I am Gupta, I have sent a check of 6 lakhs to Ashwin. Joint venture with Ashwin account debit to bank account. For one car insurance claim received by Ashwin, that will be recorded by Ashwin, not me. Nine petrol engines sold by Ashwin. Ashwin receives the proceeds. They are, it's a transaction between Ashwin and joint venture not recorded by me. So all these transactions, the car taken by Ashwin at an average cost is also a transaction between Ashwin and joint venture. All these transactions are not going to be recorded in the books of Gupta. Don't notice it. Now Gupta wants to have his share in profit. For that he can take the profit amount from the memoranda joint venture account prepared by Ashwin or if he wants to prepare a memoranda joint venture account on the basis of these details he can also prepare and find out the profit the profit is going to be same whether the memoranda joint venture account is prepared by Ashwin or Gupta that matters little but I also know I am also not required to prepare memoranda joint venture account once again but for your better understanding I prepare memoranda joint venture account for the purpose of finding out the share of Gupta in the profit now all these expenses are paid by Ashwin, except the 30,000, all these expenses are bifurcated by me in expenses incurred for 10, 10 cars and expenses incurred for 9 cars that I have recorded in the working note first prepared while explaining the sum. So expenses for 10 cars, expenses for 9 cars, over and above 30,000 paid for freight at Delhi. So these are the total expenses paid by Ashwin, debited to or recorded in the expense side of member in the joint venture account. Member in the joint venture account is prepared to find out the profit that is prepared on the basis of matching concept. All purchases expenses will be recorded on this side. All revenues will be recorded in the opposite side. The expenses will be matched with revenue and profit will be found out. Now let me write down all the expenses and the contributions of Gupta. So it is recorded in the expense side, 32,000, then 4 lakhs, then 60,000, commission, 12 lakhs is the revenue is recorded in the opposite side, freight local paid, rent paid at Delhi, office and garage rent recorded in the expense side, insurance and missions expenses paid at Delhi recorded on the debit side, they are the payments paid by Gupta, so these are the contributions of Gupta and the revenue received by Gupta is 12 lakhs. Now, this remittance of 6 lakhs by Gupta to Ashwin is not going to appear in this memoranda joint venture account because it's a mutual transfer, internal transfer between the partners. It is neither revenue nor expense, so it cannot appear in memoranda joint venture account. Now, one car insurance claim received revenue credited or recorded in the income side. Nine petrol engines sold for business, 500 each. 4,500, one diesel engine not used, disposed of, 3,000, one car taken by Ashwin, 
at an average cost which I already worked out 68,389 that is also revenue for joint venture business. Now total of revenue minus total of expenses I will get the profit. Share of Gupta in profit is half. This share in profit is claimed by Gupta from joint venture with Ashwin. So joint venture with Ashwin account debit to profit and loss account credit. This is how the profit is being claimed. So these are the total claims of Gupta from joint venture with Ashwin and these are the receipts of Gupta from joint venture with Ashwin. So total of 12 lakhs minus all these contributions will be deducted and claims will be deducted. At the end of the day 18,056 is the amount to be paid by way of settlement of joint venture business claims. So joint venture with Ashwin account debited 18,056 to bank account credit this amount tallies with the claims that we have found out while preparing or recording the transactions in the books of Ashwin. This is how the transactions are recorded in the books of Gupta. He has recorded only those transactions with which he was concerned. Member in the joint venture account is prepared once again for your better understanding. I have tried to explain you this. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to